In this match, oh, Tilly McDonald. Till you really got the chance to prove yourself this season and I think you definitely impressed. How did you find season 2022? Yeah, I think personally I was really happy um, just with my improvement. Um, I feel like I worked really hard in pre-season um, and I felt like it paid dividends um, to a certain extent, but now I want to go up another level and just keep improving. Um, as a team, I felt like we did amazing, but there's so much unfinished business. I feel like, like obviously we're all very disappointed with that prelim final result um, but for us it's just like more fire in the belly and we're just like ready to go already so um, yeah I was really happy with it. You moved into that starting position this year, starting seven position um, after being with the team for four years. How nice was it to be rewarded to get that opportunity after you know, your patience and your hard work? Mm, yeah I think sitting behind Sammy um, you know, for those few years I, I was just watching and waiting and um, just waiting for my opportunity and I feel like I was really nervous stepping into her shoes because they have really big shoes to fill and obviously she's been at the club since its inauguration so I feel like I was really nervous and then I felt like I found my feet and um, I just, yeah, I loved it and I was more than ready so um, yeah, it was just a really exciting opportunity for me. I know you're someone that's absolutely relished by the opportunity to learn from those around you and, and wait your time, but I guess it does set a bit of a, a message for a lot of young netballers, you know, you go from being a, a star player in your club team, moving up to reps and then, you know, A&L or state teams into an SSN environment and, and you do need to wait your turn sometimes. What piece of advice would you give young players um, coming through the pathway in, in that respect? Mm, yeah, it's funny because you go from being a big fish in a little pond to a little fish in a massive pond. And when I first got contracted, I was like, I think my eyes were like that the whole season. Like, I was just like, what is happening? Like, I was so, I felt so lucky and grateful to be there that it sort of didn't even come across into my mind to be sad that I was on the bench like in those in that first year but then afterwards I just was like okay how do I go up how do I improve and I think for me like constantly um, each week I would just have something that I wanted to improve on and you know, it sucks a bit sitting there like but it's it's really good it's a really good learning opportunity because you sit there it, you really like you never take it for granted now every time I step, step stepped out on court this year I was just like oh I'm so grateful to be here like the first time I stepped out in round one this year I was like trying not to cry because I was like this means so much to like work for it um, and yeah I just feel like working for it makes it even more worth it in the long run and um, yeah like I'm, I'm still only 22 so I feel like my family and my team and everyone kept me really grounded and like they humbled me a lot they were like just kept me on my feet so um, it was really good and I'm just really grateful. You played predominantly in the goalkeeper position this year and matched up against some really tough and world-class opponents. How did you find that challenge? Yeah, it was like some of these shooters are unreal. Like I'm glad um, that Joey is not an opponent and she's uh, in my team, but there's some amazing shooters like in every team. There's great goal shooters. There wasn't one that, you know, you could have a, a bit of a, um, a good game against. Everyone was a tough opponent and you really have to do your homework on them and train hard. So um, it's just so cool like just to play against like the likes of Janelle and even Kara Conan and like these amazing shooters and um, yeah it was just a really cool experience and everyone's so different like it's not the same style like one week you might get a holding shooter and the next you might get a moving and it was really cool. We know you enjoy every game and every opportunity to pull on the orange dress and we see it on your face, but was there a particular game that, that you love the most this season? Oh, I love them all. I think probably um, I had three key ones for me. It was probably the round one, um, just the opportunity to play at home in front of family and friends and our members. Um, Gemma got her debut and Lozzie and a couple of the other girls I think which was really exciting um, and then I think that our first round against Fever at home um, I'm not sure what round that was but I feel like we only won by two and um, it was just a really good hard game of netball and um, all my family was there and everyone was there and it just was felt amazing like I just felt so supported that whole game and then um, Obviously that Vixens game where my best bud came and shot the lights out, I was just so proud of her and um, yeah, I think that were probably my three highlights. You mentioned earlier um, the sense of unfinished business within the team. How do you take 
you know, the results of this year and last year and, and turn that into motivation and, and what do you need to do in pre-season when it eventually starts heading into um, season 2023? Yeah, like genuinely it is the biggest fire in the belly. I can't even explain, like there's, it's almost like it's making me ferocious just thinking about it. Like I already can't wait, um, you know, I, I can't wait to rip into pre-season and I think there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of 1% work that we need to work on and um, fine tuning and just keep on getting better and better. And I think we're such a young team and I think that's all well and good, but we can also perform. Um, and we've shown that and we've got results to show that, but now we, we need to go up one more to get the cup and just to prove to everyone that, you know, we are young but we're capable of so much and we will be for years to come. So I think it's really exciting for us as a club and we just want to keep getting better and um, yeah, I think we're all fired up and ready to go.